on a technological side, what do you think can be done there? Because actually this is one of the areas where, you know, the Gaza Strip isn't famous for its internet access. Um, you know, there, 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 there are a lot of places around the world where the government puts an extraordinarily heavy hand on the flow of information. You were mentioning that the Nazis, first thing they did was take over the entire yeah. press mechanism inside Germany and then inside the occupied areas uh, of Europe. But that obviously happens all over the world right now. And one of the things you've used Starlink for is to try and open up some of those avenues of information. But what, yeah. what, 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 what can you do? What, what, what should yeah. we be aiming it, it, at? It's worth noting also that the, the Nazis engaged in, the, in extreme censorship uh, within Germany for anything, anything that was pro-Semitic. I'm not sure how, I don't know how many people are aware of that, but you were, they, they, they censored any pro-Semitic, anyone who tried to defend the Jews in Germany, any, anything pro-Semitic was, was censored. So, um, yeah. Um, I think freedom of speech and rigorous pursuit of the truth is, the way, is, is one way to, get a, to, to defeat hatred. 